Hi, this is Meg McCarthy from Cherry Picks at the Athleta Store in Park City on Main Street for the 2023 Sundance Film Festival with the incomparable, super talented author and screenwriter, Otessa Mushveg. How are you, Otessa? How are you Hello. doing? How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Um, this is such an honor, so thank you. This is the first time you've adapted a novel of yours to the screen. What excited you the most about revisiting Eileen in this medium? And then what aspect of bringing her to life did you feel most protective over? It's hard to speak in terms of most and, you know, <laughs> what excited me the most. But I was excited for a lot of different things. I mean, Eileen was my first real novel. So seeing it come to the screen and come to life in this visual way was I mean yeah I guess that that I was most excited to see the movie mm -hmm. <laughs> at the beginning um and then I and then I discovered that I was really excited to collaborate and make the movie as well and the writing process was um you know I think that's really where your second uh question comes in is what you know how to decide what about Eileen should be most um, forward in the film. And I co-wrote the screenplay with uh, my writing partner who happens to be my husband, um, Luke Goebel. <laughs> and um, that was a really, it was a really revealing process um, because as the author of the novel, I had been writing language as though I was uh, the character. Mm. It's a first-person narrative. And when I moved toward looking at it as a film, I had to ask myself, like, how does this translate from the outside in rather than the inside and then the inside out yeah. in the novel? So um, that, like, having another perspective was really, ha uh, like, really important. And the collaboration with our director as well was really crucial in how we all saw Eileen mm. as a character. And I think I was probably most protective of her, just, you know, her dignity, um, being a real heroine mm. and, um, like the, the, the weirdness and mm. the unusual, um, obsessive qualities that, make it s so that she is actually vulnerable mm -hmm. to something like Rebecca happening. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you for that. Um, this next question is something that I grapple with personally. So I just love your take because I admire you so much. Um, your multidimensional and deliciously complex female characters have been described affectionately as unlikable. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on labeling women for their likability. We rarely hear male characters described that way. Does describing a female character as unlikable give that character power and help to humanize her? Or do you think it does the opposite? It's a great way of asking <laughs> this question. And I don't really know if I have an answer. I certainly think that the term is totally misogynistic mm. because what it presumes is that women are likable. I mean, it's very similar to the term female author, yes. you know, <laughs> like what? Um, but what I will say is, uh, I made some t-shirts that say unlikable female character on them and I'm selling them on Depop <laughs> and, um, very few people <laughs> bought them, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to own this mm. because if, if this is what it me if, you know, if what it actually means is, a female character with complexity who isn't a cut out doll, you know, who can get angry. Oh my God. Ha, mm -hmm. Um, or have, um, you know, complicated inner conflict or, you know, be an interesting human being, then fine. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't even try to like me, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's such an interesting debate and discussion. Um, I wish I had hours with you. Um, but <laughs> uh, no, but I, I find it very empowering. And I think it's, I just want to thank you for um, helping, I mean, humans in general, but women specifically to feel seen in all of our glory, um, which is hopefully becoming more of the norm with artists like yourself. So thank you. And this is Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for saying that. Thanks so much. Great to talk to you. You too.